Welcome back to the Playboy Mazda MX-5 Cup. At Virginia International Raceway in Alton, Virginia, part of the Oktoberfest weekend, leader is still Lamb, but again, second in contest here. Lionel Kent trying to get to the outside of Todd Buras into turn one and two. Elliot, he can't quite get the deal done. Yeah, but he might now because he's got the inside going to the next corner. He was able to hold the outside line. This should give him the inside line coming into three. And it has, so he's in good shape. But there goes Burris <laughs> right back on the inside, trying to make a move, can't make it. But you know what's interesting is they still haven't lost Lamb during uh, this whole mess. So I think that, you know, Todd Lamb has not gotten away, which I thought he actually would do. Zach Bly, Al Kyola there in the 75. This is for 13th spot. Now, Bly's been off at least once, maybe twice. He's trying to battle back here. Also in the mix for this position is Mark Jenkins out of Fairview, Texas in the Traxxas 25 car. He struggled all weekend, Elliot. Well, he has, and you know, the thing about uh, Ply, too, is, you know, he was up running with the front group and then yeah. ran off the road, ended up with the second group and then had a problem. He's back now in another group further back, and you know what? They're still running the same speed because this, this class, with everybody so close, you just don't get away from anybody really easily. Took a look there, took a ride with Kyola. He's going to tuck in behind Ply in the draft. Jenkins there as well. Looks like Jenkins and Ply will hook up as they fight it out for 13th. Leaders, meantime, Lionel Kent now has gotten past Todd Buras. That's the yellow car in second spot. Yeah, he's done a good job, and he's actually gapped him a little bit and uh, trying to catch up with Lamb now. I am actually surprised he wasn't drafted back by in the next lap. And, you know, the Alara cars don't seem to be able to draft together to get by, and I thought this would be a really a lot more drafting in this than we've seen. Todd Buras in the 14, running third right now. Todd Lamb, the race leader in the 84, the Luna C entry. So you've got two of the Team AMG cars, the Atlanta Motorsports Group cars. And Lionel Kent from Powell, Tennessee, his best effort since the opener at Road Atlanta, running second as they head to the front straightaway here. The other two Alara entries, Piscatel and Malkasian, running fourth and fifth. And they have opened up a good advantage on the balance of the field. They've probably got two, three seconds now over the sixth place car. They have. They have just been... You know, interestingly enough, they haven't been racing heavily enough to really slow themselves down, which I think is uh, why we haven't seen uh, Todd Lamb get away. But they've been able to get away from everybody else. It's been uh, really good racing and using their heads here. Watching Todd Lamb and that Luna C entry going for a slice of SCCA Pro Racing history this weekend. Missed the season opener at Road Atlanta, ironically, because he is from Atlanta. Joined the tour in May at Mazda Raceway Laguna Seca, and since then, he's been unbeaten. Seven for seven, going for nine in a row. Elliot, I can't remember anything close to this since Tommy Kendall's legendary Trans Am season back in 1997 when he won 11 races. It'll be very interesting to see if Lamb can get this done. Meantime, let's get on board with Ty Buras up the backside of the racetrack through the S's. He runs third. Yeah, and see, this is a long enough straight you can uh, get a draft on someone, too, collect right up behind them. But because the way the track turns from the left, right, left, right, there is no way to go by. You just have to wait. And as you crest this last hill to the right here, very difficult to get past there because there's not much room before it drops off to the left. And in these Playboy Mazda MX-5 Cup machines, you've got elevation changes at this racetrack. I would assume you unload the car a couple of times here also. You do. Coming down that hill we just saw at the end of the straight, the car gets really light and it's blind. Actual fact that uh, right around this corner, too, Whoa. was flying. Oh, Burris got out the <laughs> dirt a little bit there. You know, it didn't cost him much, though, that time. He was uh, right there. And they've all caught back up again, and we got the five-car train again. The second of the three long straightaways here on this 3.27-mile layout. Lionel Kent moves out of the draft. He's going to try Lamb heading down to the corner. And he got a Whoa. good run on him because he got all the way by. We haven't seen that much of a run before. So that should carry him all the way to the start-finish line. So it looks like uh, we're going to have Lionel Kent lead a lap. Lionel Kent is out in front now. Todd Lamb, we get on board the 84 car. Now, Lamb can't like this much. I think that's the first time he's been passed since he went on this win streak. You know, I haven't seen him being passed a lot, no. very often. I can't remember one at all, and that was a really good move. Now, Todd's going to try and get a good runoff of here so he can get back by going into one, and he did get a good runoff. Let's see if he can use that draft. I think Kent will go to the right side of the track down here and give Lamb the outside, which is going to be a tough pass. Over the start-finish line, Todd Lamb on the outside. Lionel Kent trying to hold him off from Powell, Tennessee. Kent gets credit for leading the lap. He's got the preferred groove on the inside. But I think Lamb will stay on the outside. If he can hang in there on the outside, he will have the inside for the next corner they come to, which is the preferred line again. And he's doing that. He's holding on that line. Turn three, four, and five. A tough complex here at Virginia International Raceway. Lamb gets the lead back. Boy, those guys are having a great race. This is fun racing when you can race people like this so close, and they're not hitting each other or anything. This is good racing. 
So Lamb's back out in front. Lionel Kent gets shuffled back to second. Todd Buris is third. Then you've got Piscatel fourth. Aram Malkasian is next in line. Eric Bernasiglio down on pit road. One car has had to stop. Down here in the Rossini Racing Pit area with Manny De Silva. Manny De Silva's pulling the helmet off. He's unbuckling out of the race car. Problems earlier in the race. That was what all of that dust that cloud was when he got off track. You can see the front end of the car. It's got damage on the right front bumper cover. It looks like it's pushed into the wheel. And of course, when you have that fender and body work pushed into the wheel, there's that possibility of a tire rub. The tire goes flat and causes an even bigger accident. So a tough break for Manny De Silva. Looks like he's done for the day. The Rossini guys brought two cars here this weekend, Elliot. They prepare Mazdas. They do Mazda engines and so forth, making their debut in the Playboy Mazda MX-5. Cup. Hopefully they'll be around for quite a while. Lead battle continues to rage. Here's Kent again in the yellow car, trying to get back around Todd Lamb. He's got him again. He did. That's that's amazing and that he's able to do that uh, twice. But it looks like his car is running really well today. And uh, you know these guys are running so close. And there's Lamb trying to go back under. It's a bad place to do it. I hope that doesn't cost Lamb a real shot onto the straightaway down here because it can. Kent, the leader, off the final corner. Long front straightaway here at VIR. They'll come by pit road. And we've seen the car running second or third a couple of times. And here's Lamb making a move. Kent tries to defend to the inside. He doesn't. I thought he did a good job yeah. there. Lamb really wanted the inside. Lamb's trying oh! to go to the inside. Ah, little, little push bump it. there. Say, yep, give me the inside, son. And Todd Buris right up there. He kisses the back bumper of Kent's car. Lionel Kent hanging right in there. And here comes Buris in third. Great racing among the top three here at Virginia International Raceway. That yeah, Piscatel wants to get on it, too. They came awfully close to hitting, too. So Todd Lamb is back out in front for now. Lionel Kent second in the yellow 13. Buris is third. We'll be back at VIR.